Hi, I'm Joe Wahlberg, and I'm a social studies teacher at St. James Academy. The 2020-2021 school year, that's kind of hard to say, the 2020-2021 school year is my 11th year teaching at St. James. And despite COVID, this is my most ambitious year yet. I can't wait to tell you about it. But we're going to put our first things first, and I want to start this video the same way I start every classroom with my students. We're going to begin it in prayer. And in particular, I want to focus on a prayer that I share with your students, with my 11th graders. It's a prayer written by St. Ignatius of Loyola. Now, we know it as the Sisipe prayer. It's a prayer of radical surrender, whereby the prayer, the prayer, the one who prays, the one who prays goes and offers the entirety of their life to Jesus uh, in its fullest measure. I dare your students to pray this with me at the beginning of the year. By the end of the first semester, everybody's ready to join us. And if you'll join me now, we'll begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Take, Lord, and receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding, and my entire will. All I have and call my own, you have given all to me. To you, Lord, I return it. Everything is yours. Do with it what you will. Give me only your love and your grace. That is enough for me. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So in my capacity as a Catholic school teacher, I teach primarily these days two classes, both a United States history class that I refer to as a modern United States history. You'll sometimes see it abbreviated as MUSH, modern U.S. history, and also advanced placement United States history. You'll see it abbreviated as APUSH, AP, advanced placement United States history, APUSH, so MUSH and APUSH. Besides that, I'm also the Dean of the Community of Mother Teresa, which I'm convinced is the best community in the entire school, and it's an honor to go help lead that, uh, lead that community. This year, I was also asked to take on a great responsibility with the Thunder Broadcast Network, as our students aren't able to go to games, we'll be filming it, and uh, I'm excited to go work with that program also. Some years I get to be a chaperone on the Rome pilgrimage. That one kind of blew up in 2020, womp womp. We, I, don't know when we're gonna get it scheduled next. Hopefully next year, uh, I don't know, I don't get to make that call. But when we do, let me really encourage uh, if there's a way that your students be able to go to the Rome pilgrimage. It's a fascinating trip, a dip into our Catholic history to go see so much of the relics of Christendom uh, there in the Eternal City. It's wonderful and I can't recommend it enough as soon as we can do it again. Besides being a teacher, I, my wife and I also own a company, Kansas Tees. We're a custom t-shirt shop. We don't do retail, we're a contract printer. Uh, we've done a lot of those shirts at St. James over the years. I, I'm gonna guess maybe about a third of them have come out of our basement. But my favorite thing is that I'm a husband and father to a pretty awesome family. Let me tell you about the two classes that I'm teaching this year. The first one is uh, United States history. I call it modern United States history because of the timeline. You'll also see it abbreviated MUSH, modern U.S. history. And it focuses on American history since Reconstruction. So from about 1870 up through essentially 2001, we'll, we target for um, September 11th as sort of the, the end of our field of study. Uh, and it's a fun class. It's a fun class that I really enjoy teaching. I like to think of it as focusing primarily on the American century, where the United States emerges onto the global stage uh, and really comes together as the modern country that we know today. The second class I teach is Advanced Placement United States History. And I'll tell you, social studies teachers kind of think of this as the class that's the honor to teach. And I know I feel honored to teach it as well. It's a whole timeline class that runs from 1491, so we look at pre-Columbian America, through, again, theoretically the present, again, we shoot for about 2001-ish uh, in those tender days up to after September 11th. Now, I'm going to say with APUSH, it is a lot of reading. It's a pretty aggressive reading schedule, and especially since we've lost a few weeks at the beginning of the school year, we will get caught up, but it's going to be a lot. Uh, and there's going to be a point, in my experience, it'll be about early October. I can almost pick it. We'll see what the COVID schedule kind of does for us timeline. But usually I kind of know about the point in the class where it is where your student might feel very overwhelmed by the workload in AP US history. I'm going to tell you that I'm sympathetic to that. I understand it. And I understand that it's hard on them. And I understand that it's hard on families. I also want you to know that it's part of the model and we want kids to swim hard. I'm not gonna let any of your students drown, but I am gonna let them swim pretty hard for the shore. It's a growth mindset opportunity, and I'll also tell you that the model works. We read a lot in this class. They're gonna work probably harder than they expected to, 
But St. James Academy has a lot of success in this program, so much so that we put up pass rates of 150% of the national average. What we do works, and your student can succeed in it. I also want you to know that you're invited to the class anytime. I mean, it's a little hard to actually come into our class these days. Our number of the humans in the building at once is pretty hard. But I'm also putting up my lesson plans every day on Google Classroom. And as a parent, you get to see those things. You'll also find, you know, frankly, what my Zoom link is. If you want to come and pop in on class, I don't Zoom every hour just because of, um, you know, if I don't have a student on Zoom, I don't, I don't open it. But if we do, heck, you're welcome to come and join in the class. I'll have to admit you in through the waiting room, but there's no reason you can't see what we're doing. I also put a lot of videos up on YouTube. I have a really big YouTube channel that I share with your students, that I share kind of with the whole world, actually. And you are welcome to follow along with those. In fact, I think it's pretty awesome if you're able to make your family uh, into an active participant in your students' learning. I oftentimes tell my students that I'm going to give them the objectives for the day and then when they go home and their parents say, what did you learn in school today? They don't have to look at you and say, nothing, like their students have been saying since they were, I don't know, eight years old. Instead, I'll tell them that they can go and repeat back what the objectives were and that you can have a thrilling dinnertime conversation about what you've learned in American history class and maybe even what you've learned in American history class. You're invited. Come and join in the fun. I'm really looking forward to this year. Like I said, it's my most ambitious year yet and what I would like to accomplish and how I want to teach students. Uh, I, I can't wait. I hope it glorifies God in everything I do. God bless you.